What's up guys, it's Aaron Nitmar. Today we're talking more Smash for the Nintendo Switch news. Or I guess Smash for Wii U updated for the Nintendo Switch. Is a better phrase for it? I don't know, because we don't have a, really have a title for it yet, so I'm not entirely sure what to call it. But there's new information out, but before I start talking about the new information, I want to briefly discuss the old information. It's been sort of widely discussed that the article I previously reported on was sort of false reporting on the website's part. They took a 4chan leak, uh, supposedly, and slapped a credible name onto it to sort of give it credence. I don't know if uh, it was intentional, if they did that just to mislead us, or if they genuinely thought that. But it has been known that most of the information that was from that is not verified by sort of a credible source that, you know, has been used in the past. So, uh, while it could still happen, while we don't know if Mario Kart, Splatoon, or Smash are all gonna be launch titles, we don't know what is- what the plan is, so to speak, um, we do know that it's not verified, so if it doesn't happen, we should not be surprised. With that said, we do have some news regarding Super Smash Bros. on the Nintendo Switch that does seem to be more credible than the previous source was, so here's hoping that it actually doesn't end up being like the previous article. Uh, but let's jump into it. The first thing it states is that the Bayonetta and Cloud Amiibo, which have been slated for 2016 release in the past, have now been delayed, and that is to sort of release alongside a Super Smash Bros. port on the Nintendo Switch. So they're basically going to hold off on the remainder of the DLC. I believe all we have left is Cloud, Bayonetta, and Corrin for the Amiibo to be released uh, for Smash. Um, so I assume they're going to be releasing those alongside the game just to sort of, you know, hype it up a little more, you know, because Amiibo came out very quickly after, uh, after Smash came out. So I assume they're doing that to sort of hype it up. Um, but that is where the Bayonetta and Cloud Amiibo both are. Uh, for anyone who is wondering, I have been waiting for them. Um, I have the rest of the DLC. Uh, amiibo and I've just been waiting for the last few so that is where supposedly they are and why there's been just such silence on that front The second bit of news revolves the release date and apparently as was stated in the previous article Smash for the switch is not going to be a launch day release But they are targeting it for the first six months after the switch releases so the first half of the switches first year is going to, hopefully, we're going to see a Smash for Wii U port. Um, I guess it would be Smash for Switch. Um, but there is really no confirmation, obviously. Um, just what we're being told is that in the first six months, we're going to see it. Hopefully, uh, it could be early on, or it could be as late as, you know, if it comes out in March, it could be as late as November, which means that we won't be seeing it for a full year at this point. Um, but either way, we could be seeing it um, we could be seeing it pretty early, you know, they might actually release it in something like, um, May or April or something. Um, but we have no idea, honestly, this is all still just speculation based on rumors. As far as content goes, the Switch version is going to have all of the DLC from the Wii U version. As far as the 3DS goes, I don't think anything is going to be brought over from the 3DS. Um, I know that most of the DLC was the same on both the 3DS and the Wii U version, but certain stages on the 3DS probably will not be added to the Switch version. I want to say that this is just going to be simply a full port of the Wii U version, including all of the DLC onto the Switch. As far as new content goes, we have zero confirmation on that, and we really have... There's nothing more to update. Um, it could be that we're going to get some new characters, it could be that we're going to get some new stages, some new skins, anything like that. Um, so we, but we have honestly no, no news on that currently. Um, a lot of people are speculating that characters such as the Ice Climbers are going to come back. Uh, and that's basically circumstantial speculation as far as, you know, specifically the Ice Climbers. Um, and that's because the Ice Climbers were possible on the Wii U, but on the 3DS they were not. Um, it has to do with the way that um, the second Ice Climber works with the first. Because it's not like Rosalina and Luma where the Luma is a controlled character. 
the second ice climber is technically an AI CPU character who is going to sometimes work with you, but will also sometimes make their own decisions. Um, it's been that way in Melee and in Brawl. Um, and I suppose they couldn't make it work so that it was going to be the exact same thing. You know, it, you're literally controlling two characters like with Rosalina and Luma. I guess they just didn't make that work or maybe on the 3DS it just couldn't work. Um, so people are suspecting that because there's not going to be a 3DS release of this port and that it's going to be only on the Switch that the Ice Climbers are fair game because um, Sakurai stated that during the development they wanted to make sure that you weren't missing any content from the 3DS to the Wii U version. Obviously you got different stages and some different songs and stuff, but as far as characters go, you were getting the exact same game every time. So that's why the Ice Climbers weren't on the 3DS, or the Ice Climbers weren't in Smash 4 at all, because they couldn't work on the 3DS, so they didn't want to release, you know, one character on one and one character on the other, and sort of force the consumers to choose or to have to buy both or whatever. So that's why people are suspecting that the Ice Climbers could be on this version of Smash on the Switch because it's going to be the only version and so hopefully, uh, I, hopefully they're right. Honestly, I do want to see the Ice Climbers. I would be very, very pleased to see the Ice Climbers. Finally, and this is kind of a big deal, there is no current confirmation on whether or not the GameCube adapter will have support on the Switch. Um, obviously, the Switch dock has USB ports which will obviously allow hopefully the GameCube adapter to work as well as you know other things like Ethernet adapters things like that that the USB uh, uses on the Wii U or any kind of other you know adapters or dongles or you know accessories that Nintendo wants to add um, but if it has a USB thing hopefully they will make the, the GameCube adapter work uh, obviously we're gonna have to wait for that to see if that's going to be on their mind I assume it will be because you know the GameCube controller and Smash is just so tied together at this point um, But currently there's no information on that So of course I will update you guys when we have more information and that is basically all the news we have for today um, If you guys are excited for this hopeful smash on the switch Do me a huge favor and hit the like button or if you just enjoyed the video hit the like button and let me know What new content you think we might get in the switch? version of Smash? I don't, honestly, I don't know. I mean, the Ice Climbers are a possibility. Older characters could also come back. I don't think that they would add any new characters, um, or maybe they would, and it's from the Smash Ballot still. I'm not entirely sure, but let me know what you think could happen. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a fantastic day.